Today we're going to be talking about how to determine whether or not a geometric series is convergent or divergent. In other words, we're going to be using the geometric series test for convergence. And the series in this particular video that we're going to be testing is the infinite sum from n equals 1 to infinity of this series here, which is negative 3 raised to the n minus 1 power divided by 4 to the n power. Now, as a reminder, I have the geometric series convergence test written here, or at least part of it. It says that the infinite sum from n equals 1 to infinity of this type of series, which is a geometric series, a times r raised to the n minus 1 power, that that series is convergent if the absolute value of r is less than 1, and divergent if the absolute value of r is greater than or equal to 1. Now, the easiest way to use this geometric series convergence test is to first expand this series here that we're given in the definition into a series. And, and the way that we're going to do that is by plugging in values of n starting with n equals 1. We'll keep plugging in higher and higher values of n and just get the first couple terms of this series. Then it'll become much more apparent to us what kind of series a geometric series actually is. So we'll go ahead and just say that this is going to be roughly equal to here. When we plug in n equals 1 to this series here, we get a times r to the 1 minus 1 power. 1 minus 1 is 0. r raised to the 0 power is 1. So we essentially have here a times 1, and we just get a. Okay, then we're going to add to that whatever we get when we plug in n equals 2. 2 minus 1 gives us 1, so we get a times r to the first power, or just a r, so plus a r. When we plug in n equals 3, we get 3 minus 1, which is 2, or a r squared, so plus a r squared. And if we kept going here, what we'd see is that we'd get a r cubed, a r to the fourth, etc. But I'm just going to say dot, dot, dot here. Okay. So this is the expanded form here of a geometric series. Now what we can do, what's really interesting here, is that we can factor out the value a from this series. Notice that each term in this series is multiplied by a. So when we factor out a like this, what we get is 1, right? a times 1 is just a, that gives us our first term, plus r when we factor it out of the second term, a times r gives us a r here. And we keep factoring out, we just get plus r squared, plus r cubed, plus dot dot dot. We get r to the fourth, r to the fifth, etc. So here's our geometric series now with a factored out. The reason it's convenient to understand that this is the expanded form of a geometric series is because we can now plug in values of n, n equals 1, 2, 3, etc., into our series up here to see if it matches this form, this a times 1 plus r plus r squared plus r cubed, to see if it matches that form. If it does match that form, then we can tell that it's a geometric series. We can easily tell it's a geometric series. And we can also easily identify values of a and r, which is what we're interested in, not only for the convergence test, but also for finding the sum of a geometric series if we need to do that as well. So again, the easiest way to determine whether or not we actually have a geometric series here is just to plug in the first several terms. So let's go ahead and, and do that here. Our series, and we'll just go ahead and put it in brackets, when we plug n equals 1 into this series here, we'll get in the numerator 1 minus 1, which is 0. Negative 3 raised to the 0 power is just 1, so we get 1 in the numerator. In the denominator, when we plug in 1, we get 4 to the first power, which is just 4. So our first term in our series is 1 fourth. Then we're going to add to that whatever we get when we plug in 2. So when we plug in 2, we get 2 minus 1, which is 1. Negative 3 raised to the first power is just negative 3. So negative 3 divided by 4 raised to the second power, or 4 squared here, which is 16. So we get negative 3 over 16 for our second term. Now let's just do two more really quickly. When we plug in 3, we get 3 minus 1, which is 2. Negative 3 squared is 9, so we get positive 9 divided by 4 cubed, which is 64, so 9 over 64. And if we plug in n equals 4, we get 4 minus 1, which is 3. Negative 3 cubed is negative 27, so negative 27, divided by 4 to the fourth power, which is 256. And we could just keep going, but we'll go ahead and say dot, dot, dot like this. 
and close our series. Okay, so these are the first several terms of our series. Now, in order to determine whether or not this is a geometric series, once you've got these terms written out, what you always wanna try to do is factor out the value of our first term. Remember here, we had our first term a, and we tried to factor out a. So in our case, we have our first term 1 fourth, and we wanna try to factor out 1 fourth. So what we're gonna do is say 1 fourth, and then multiply this by all these terms on the inside here. So 1 fourth, obviously the first term will just be multiplied by one to get 1 fourth again. Now what do we have to multiply by 1 fourth in order to get negative three over 16? Well, we have to multiply that by negative three over four, right? Now if we take negative three fourths and we multiply it by one fourth, we get negative three in the numerator and 16 in the denominator, which is what we have here for our second term, negative three over 16. What do we have to multiply by one fourth in order to get nine over 64? Well, we have to multiply that by nine. And then in the denominator, we have to multiply that by 16. And we could keep going here. We'd have to multiply this by negative 27 over 64 and we could say plus dot 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 and this would be our series with the first term one fourth factored out now all we need to do to verify that this is a geometric series is make sure that we have it in the same form as our series here and identify a and r well theoretically if this is a geometric series we already factored out our value of a we're already assuming that a is one fourth because it was our first term we go we went ahead and factored that out now r is always going to be our second term here and we want to make sure that we always include a negative sign if there is one. So this is gonna be our value of R, including the sign in front of it, whether it's positive or negative. So in our case, that would be negative 3 fourths would be our value of R. Now notice that all we have to do is make sure that the terms following R are in fact R squared, R cubed, R to the fourth, etc. So what we want to do is go ahead and break these down to see if we can in fact say that if this is r, then this is r squared, this is r cubed, etc. So we'll have 1 fourth multiplied by 1 minus 3 fourths. And now what we're going to try to do is get 3 fourths squared. And obviously we can see that that is going to be the case. We're going to say plus 3 fourths squared here because we can see that if we square 3 we get 9 if we square 4 we get 16 that's 9 16 which was our r squared term and in fact what we can do is because we know that our value for r is negative 3 fourths we can go ahead and add in our negative right here negative 3 fourths squared gives us a positive 9 16 which is what we need here for our fourth term this 27 over 64 we can go ahead and say plus and then negative 3 fourths cubed because when we cube the negative we'll still end up with a negative right negative one raised to the third power is still negative one we get this negative sign out in front and three cubed is 27 and four cubed is 64 so we're getting that value okay so we've proven we've shown that negative three fourths here this second term inside this series is in fact our value of r and that if we keep going with that we get r squared r cubed r to the fourth so we've shown that this is a geometric series because we've matched the form of our series to the definition of a geometric series here and we know that one fourth is equal to a and that negative three fourths is equal to r so now when it comes to the convergence test all we need to do is look at r right we're taking the absolute value of r so we want the absolute value of negative three-fourths which of course is equal to positive three-fourths is this less than or greater than or equal to one of course it's less than one so because three-fourths is less than one we know that the series is convergent so we'll say that it is a convergent series by the geometric series test. If this value had been greater than or equal to one, we would know that the series is divergent. And now as a quick note about the sum of the series, once you have A and R, finding the sum of the series is very easy. The sum of a geometric series is always just A divided by one minus R. And since we already have values of A and R, that's very easy. So our value of A is one fourth our value for r is negative 3 fourths, so we get 1 minus negative 3 fourths, or 1 plus 3 
fourths. And now we just need to simplify this to find the sum. The way that you wanna do this is by finding a common denominator within the denominator. So this one here becomes four over four to find a common denominator with this three fourths. That leads us to one fourth divided by seven fourths. Well, when we have a fraction divided by a fraction, instead of dividing by a fraction, we can multiply by its reciprocal. So we'll get one fourth, and instead of dividing that by seven fourths, we'll multiply it by the reciprocal four sevenths. When we do that, we'll of course get our fours here in the numerator and denominator to cancel with one another, and we're left with a value of one seventh, which is the sum of the geometric series. So see how quick that was to find the sum? Once we have values of A and R, it's very easy. So that's how you use the geometric series test to determine whether or not a geometric series is convergent or divergent. Remember that the easiest way to determine whether or not this is in fact a geometric series is just to go ahead and write down the first few terms in the series and then see if you can get it into this form here. If you cannot get it into this form, then it's not a geometric series. What makes it a geometric series is this value here of R, which is the constant multiple, right? Each term after this, we're multiplying by another negative three-fourths. So we have negative three-fourths to the first, and then negative three-fourths times negative three-fourths, negative three-fourths times negative three-fourths times negative three-fourths. So we're always just multiplying the previous term by an additional factor of R. That's what makes it a geometric series. If you can't get it in this form, it's not a geometric series.